welcome back Sci-Tie Tech. In this video I want to do a teardown of the subwoofer. I want to see how it works and I want to see if there's any parts that are worth salvaging. Let's get started. First what I'm going to do is do what I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw and remove all of the screws that I can find. And now let's go ahead and remove all of the screws. And as you can see, these type of screws are very useful. I can definitely use this for other projects. And there, now I've collected them all. And now a closer look. And as you can see, there's this knob. Remove that. And remove the little nut. And now, remove the washer. Next, I'm going to try to pry out the circuit, and as you can see, it's really stuck in there. Can't really get it out, so I'm going to have to use a different kind of method. Careful, this is going to be noisy. And as you can see, it's hammer time. And just simply take a sledgehammer and carefully smash it open. And there we go, I smashed a big hole, and now I'm going to go and remove all the pieces. And this piece of cotton is actually going to be very useful. I can definitely use this as some kind of filter. Maybe use it as a filter for solder fumes. And now since everything is cleared out, now I can reach inside the hole and push out the circuit from the inside. Push it out with a lot of force. And there, now I got the circuit removed. Next, unplug the speaker cable. Doing this will allow the circuit to be removed. And now I can access the speaker. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and unplug all the plugs that are attached to the circuits so that way I have access to the circuits. So that way I have access to the components. And as you can see, these are very nice components. Definitely can use this for a future project. Next, I'm going to carefully remove the speaker grill. And there we go, it is now removed and I can probably use this for a future project. Maybe to use it as some kind of sand sifter. Next, I'm going to remove the screws that are attached to the speaker. And there, the screws are now removed, and now I can remove the speaker. Perfect, the speaker comes out just like this. Ah, this is a very nice speaker. Very big and very powerful. Okay, so now as you can see, I reassembled everything back together because I believed that this didn't work. So, I've decided that I'm actually going to use this for a future project. Sure, I can just take the speaker and use it for something else, and I can use some of the components that are on these boards for something else. But, since it still works very well, I've decided to take it apart like this, which can be put into a different shaped housing, which would be perfect for the next project or future project that also involves the soundbar which means I would be creating a very interesting project that will come up in a future video. So, there you have it. Now, you know what's inside of this subwoofer, what kind of components that are potentially salvageable, and how it works, and what it looks like inside. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTech Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTech Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.